delectable feast that has been prepared. Yes, delectable is a fancy word for amazing, delicious, yummy, um, kind even. Well, okay, maybe not kind, but I remember some of you, when you would come to Children's Church, you were super kind to make me some delicious pretend food that we would share. It was always so surprising when you would bring me a donut and I, we would pretend to eat or have a tea party or something. So delicious. Oh my goodness. And I have some lemonade here and some delicious vegetables, some grapes and bread and fruit. So much amazing food. Hey, speaking of kindness and sharing food, would you be so kind as to ask your parents to comment and tell me that you're watching? I'd like to be able to be kind and say hi to you later. So go ahead and do that. Hey, in a little bit, we are gonna do an activity together and you're gonna need some supplies for that. So I'm gonna tell you the supplies that you'll need and you can go grab them if you haven't already. You're gonna need cardstock, construction paper, scissors, glue, and crayons or markers, all right? I'll, I'll say those things one more time. You're gonna need cardstock, construction paper, scissors, glue, crayons or markers. Go ahead and grab those things now. All right, so do you guys remember David? I, I had this feast here because today's story is about David and how David had the opportunity to show kindness. Now, if you remember, David started out as a shepherd boy and God called him to be the king of Israel. It was amazing. And he went through some crazy times. If you remember, Saul tried to make his life miserable and David still showed him mercy. Now today, we're gonna talk about how David had the opportunity to show kindness. And yes, it might've involved some food. Check it out. David was a good king for Israel. He defeated his enemies and he obeyed God to do what was fair and right for God's people. One day, David thought about King Saul and his family. David and Saul's son, Jonathan, had been best friends. He had promised to be kind to Jonathan's family. David wondered if anyone from that family was still alive. David said to one of Saul's servants, I want to show kindness to someone from Saul's family. Is anyone still alive? The servant said, yes, Jonathan's son. The one whose feet were injured is still alive. The servant told David where Jonathan's son lived. His name was Mephibosheth. David called for him to his palace in Jerusalem. When Mephibosheth arrived, he bowed down before David to show respect. Mephibosheth, David said. Mephibosheth answered, I am your servant. Don't be afraid. I made a promise to your father, Jonathan, and I want to show you kindness for your father's sake. David told Mephibosheth what he would do for him. I will give you all the land that belonged to your grandfather, Saul. Also, I want you to eat all your meals at my table. Mephibosheth bowed down. Why would you show such kindness to someone like me? He wondered. David made sure that Saul's servants would take care of the land and farm it for Mephibosheth. From that time on, Mephibosheth lived at the palace and ate his meals at King David's table as if he were one of King David's own sons. King David showed surprising kindness to Mephibosheth, even though he didn't have to. In a greater way, God shows surprising kindness to us. Because of Jesus, he invites us into his family and gives us life with him forever. Mephibosheth, 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 Mephibosheth. Oh my word, that name is so hard to say. You try saying Mephibosheth 10 times fast. It's really tricky. Anyway, David showed kindness to Mephibosheth. He didn't have to, but he wanted to. 
you know what? In the same way God shows kindness to us, he doesn't have to show kindness to us, but he wants to because he loves us. Can you believe it? The God of the universe loves you and he loves me too. So much, in fact, that he sent his son Jesus to die for our sins so that we can be friends with God forever. How cool is that? Hey, you know what? There's lots of people in the world who need to know about God's surprising kindness toward us. So what we're going to do today is we're actually going to make a pop-up card with surprising kindness. So we're going to make a card together. So you're going to need to grab those supplies that I asked you to earlier. So do you have your card stock and your construction paper? and those scissors and glue and pencil and markers or crayons. You got them? Okay, we're gonna get started. So it's gonna look like this when it's done. I'll set that down here. So the first thing you're gonna do is take that piece of cardstock that you grabbed and you are going to fold it in half. So you're gonna take the short side and fold it to the other short side and match those corners up and then squish it down. And you're gonna fold it nice and tight, like that, okay? So now you have kind of a card going on there. Okay, now do you see how you have this folded edge? This is the tricky part, but I think you can do it. You're going to take that folded edge and then take your crayon or your marker and find kind of the middle of that edge and you're gonna draw two lines from the edge toward the middle, just like this. All right, so it's gonna look like this. So you'll have two little lines and then you're gonna take your scissors and you're gonna cut those two lines from the fold into the middle and then stop. Don't cut too far because if you cut too far it won't work. All right, you see that? Okay, so then you're going to open your card and actually fold it backwards. And then hold on to that middle part because that part is gonna come in the middle of your card opposite of the rest of it. So it's going to fold like this. And you'll fold it together. So now you have the pop-up part of your card, okay? Now here's the fun part. Now you're gonna take that card and make it look like it's just a normal card. So you're gonna glue it onto your construction paper. So what I like to do is take one side of the card and put some glue all over the back of that card, just the one half, like that. How's it going? It's a little tricky. Now, if you're not getting it the first time, that's okay. You can come back and watch the video later or try again with an adult or an older sibling. They be, would be sure to help you. Then you're gonna put the middle part of the card in the middle of the paper and line up those edges and push it down. And then put some glue on the other side of that construction paper so you can glue the other part of the card down. Lots of glue. I know I'm going a little fast, so don't worry if you aren't able to catch up. I bet you can finish it later after church. All right, and then you're gonna fold it down and close that card to make it look like, oh, it's like a normal card. Amazing. Now, you need that surprising pop-up in the middle. In order to do that, you're gonna take your construction paper. And what I like to do is put a smiley face in the middle of it because I feel like a smile is one of the best ways that you can show kindness to others. God has given us all a smile that we can share. So I'm gonna cut out a circle. If you need to, you might draw a circle on your paper first and then cut it out. But I'm gonna cut out that circle and then draw a smiley face in the middle. Smile! Fabulous. Then I'm going to take that glue and you see this little section of the card here, that part that's sticking up? You're gonna put some glue right on that part. 
All right. Then take that smile face and stick it right on that part of their paper. Then when you close your card, <gasps> ta-da! It's so happy to see you. Surprising kindness. Hey, I encourage you, after you've made your card, you can share it with someone whom you think needs to know about God's surprising kindness for them. Tell them about how God loves them, how he made them, and he wants to be friends with them forever too. I'm gonna read you today's verse out of Psalms chapter 145, verse 13. This is the verse that we've been reading that David wrote, remember? Read it with me if you can. It says this, your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your dominion endures through all generations. The Lord is trustworthy in all he promises and faithful in all he does. God is so good. Hey, I hope you'll join me for church in a little bit and we're gonna lift up the name of Jesus because he is so good. But before we do that, I have a question for you to think about this week. The question is this, how does God show kindness to us? Think about it. There's so many ways that God is kind to us besides the fact that Jesus died for us. That's the biggest act of kindness that he has shown to us. But there's lots of ways that God is kind to us every single day. I encourage you to talk about some of those things with your family and come up with some ideas. What does it look like? How is God showing his kindness to you every day? Right, well, I hope you'll join me for church in a little bit, but for now, I wanna say goodbye to some awesome kids and thank you for joining me. First of all, I'm gonna say hey to Addison and Bethany and Hudson and Naomi. Thanks for joining today. And of course, Isaiah is here too. I'm so glad you're here. And I'm going to say hey to the Lancaster girls. I sure miss you guys. I'm so glad you stopped in today. And hey to Daniel and Johanna and Matthew. Thanks for coming. And oh, I see those Shelton kids are on. Adelie, Wyatt, Elias, and Ashlyn. Thanks for coming today. I sure am glad you're here. And hi to Danielle and Pelumi. I miss you girls. I haven't seen you in so long. Thanks for watching the Living Faith Kids show today. And hi to Sayla and Asa and Anika, Isaiah and Kia, Keandra. I'm so glad that you're here. Oh, and Jaden and Haley and Savannah and the Toronto kids and Owen and Troa and Paul, Abigail and Elise and Eleanor, and of course, RJ. I'm so glad that you guys joined me today. I hope you'll come back next week for the next part in David's story. Now, for now, remember, God loves you and he has a big plan for your life.